the barkeeper was talking about an exhibition in Paris. But where could... Come on, Stobart, use your brain. The only museum that comes to mind is the Muse Crew, but there are two problems. First, it's been a long time, and I don't know if I can find it. Second, Andre. I guess I don't have a choice. Great, I'm lost. Wow, a piece of a broken dental voice. Someone must have used it to break out somewhere. It's bent like a lockpick. Or maybe someone just lost it. The same thing happened to me when I was 12. I lost mine betting on my favorite basketball team. He passes time by closely watching the passers-by. Is it just me, or are his hands and feet bound? Hi, could you help me? That depends on your question. What's your name? My name is George Stobart. Stobart, two B's and two T's. What's your name? Nice to meet you, George. My name is Dr. Blackter. How can I help you? I don't mean to be rude, but why are you bound hand and foot? I can hardly answer that question, George. Why is that? You must have done something or you wouldn't be in chains, would you? Well, in my eyes, what I did wasn't wrong at all, George. Only in the eyes of the people that saw me do it. To me, what's important is not what I've done or not done, but why you're asking me about it. In today's society, it seems almost commonplace to put people in chains who haven't done anything wrong. Consequently, I assume it's nothing unusual to be in chains anymore. Which leads me to the question, why are you still walking free? Isn't that an irrefutable sign that we're living in an Orwellian society, George? Wow, you know, I've never seen it from that perspective. Putting that guy in chains makes sense to me now. Well, would you tell me what entirely innocent and legal act you committed before this degraded society felt the need to take you into custody? I had dinner with a patient. Wow, that does seem a bit of a harsh sentence. Maybe I had the wrong impression of you. Is that really all there is to it? Well, he was the main cause. Mother of God. Now that is illegal, doctor and not exactly great medical ethics. You didn't know him, George? So you can't judge, can you? He was a very unpleasant human being whose way of treating others put him totally out of place in this world. But as a doctor, shouldn't you have been helping to remedy that? I cure only what I am able to cure, George. In that case, it wasn't the patient I had to cure, but the world that needed to be cured of him, and is that bit cleaner as a result. Well, I definitely wasn't wrong about him. Doctor, I think you have a serious problem. If you say so, George. You see, I have stopped arguing with people. Nobody ever really listens to my arguments. I can see why. I guess I've heard enough of that. Let's change the subject. You don't know what to say, right, George? You know, there are people that want to seriously discuss things, and others only want to do small talk. I'm not one for such primitive conversation. It's beneath me. Which kind would I be then? My knowledge of human nature tells me that you wouldn't like my answer. You'd be offended. All right, I can live with your judgment. You see, George, even though I haven't told you, you already know the answer. You're offended, and you don't want to discuss it any further. I was right in all respects. He was right. I think this lunatic is too smart for me. I'm looking for the museum crew. I should know where to find it, but I got lost somehow. I can't tell you the way, but 
I'd like to know something from you, or rather about you in exchange. Listen, I'm not really feeling like Q&A games right now. Quid pro quo, George. You tell me something, I tell you something. If it's absolutely necessary. Do you have a girlfriend, George? Hey, that's kind of personal. Do you want to know the way or not, George? I'm sure that none of the people you'll meet here will be as cooperative as me. Okay, I have a girlfriend. Well done. First, walk down this street until you reach a corner shop. What's your girlfriend's name, George? Why should I tell you that? Quid pro quo, George. You've got some nerve. Her name is... Natalie. You're lying, George. I can see that. I used to work with people who were lying to me, remember? You've got some nerve. Her name is... Her name is Nico. Well done, George. Well done. After that corner shop, you turn left to face Notre Dame, then walk straight on. Do you have dreams, George? But... Quid pro. Okay, okay. I dream about my girlfriend being abducted and I can't do anything about it. That's terrible sometimes. I can't believe what I've just told this madman. Take the first turn right and you'll find the museum. Do you hear your girlfriend scream in your dreams, George? Do you hear her scream? Take good care of your girlfriend, George. Museum Croon, closed for refurbishing. Damn it, wait, maybe there's another museum. I can't remember what the French call the Baphomet Idol. Was it Marseille? I don't think so. I think it was something with an S. If only someone could help us. Pardon me? Excuse me. It says that Mofasan is collecting donations for the Third World next Saturday. The priest invites the congregation to come and listen to the choir sing. That's it! Why didn't I remember the priest sooner? He knew about the Templars when I first came to Paris. Maybe he can help. I never cared much for biblical paintings or stained glass windows, but these are kind of impressive. Pardon me. Yes, what can I do for you? Do you remember me? Oh, you're the man whose chalice I cleaned. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, no, it's all right. I enjoyed doing it. Really? That's a relief. This church is just as splendid as I remember. Yes, it is. And that is thanks to the people of the parish, who have given large donations not only to support the poor souls in the third world, but also for the restoration of this church. Are you coming to this service next Saturday? I have read your appeal for donations, but I'm afraid I won't have the time. There's a lot going on in my life at the moment, you know? 
It is sad to see fewer and fewer people coming to the sermon over the last few years, you know? It used to be different. Well, I can understand those people, though. God gave them the wonderful gift to acquire knowledge, and they make use of it. But progress makes people rush from place to place. They just don't have the time anymore. It is strange that the faster they move, the less time they seem to have. Have you seen Nicole Collard lately? She's my girlfriend. Black hair, smartly dressed. I'm looking for her. Every day scores of people enter these walls. I find it hard to remember all their names and faces. But I am sure you will find her. God will be with you. Can you tell me what the idol of Baphomet used to be called? Baphomet? No, uh, I mean in French. Oh well, uh, let me think. I can't remember, but I'll remember seeing the name somewhere here in this church. Okay, I'll take a look around. Thanks anyway. Well, you are very welcome. As I take a closer look, I see it. The writing Baphomet below the illustration of Jesus can easily be made out. But there is something written underneath it, much smaller. No, it's pointless. I can't read it. Hmm, a magnifying glass. It probably belongs to one of the tourists. What can I do for you, monsieur? I'd like a piece of cake. Oh, excusez-moi. Our patisserie couldn't deliver any cakes this week. Do you have ice cream? No, I'm sorry, but uh, we do not have any ice cream. But we do have quite cheap uh, ice lollies. Okay. I'll have a coffee. Black coffee, please. Anything else? Here we are, sir. A black coffee. I'd like to pay, please. That is 16 euros 80. What? That's a rip-off. Okay. I don't have a choice, do I? Hmm. A magnifying glass. It probably belongs to one of the tourists. I wonder if they'll miss it. I guess not. The magnifying glass the tourists have lost. Hey, despite the drop, it's almost undamaged.
I can see the small writing through the magnifying glass. It reads Sue. That's it. Hello? So? That's it? Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. No, not at all. Maybe you can help me in exchange. Okay, what's the problem? Can you tell me where I can find a museum that houses objects from the age of the Templars? Let me think. How about the Museum Natres near the Mont Fasson? Thanks, you've been a great help. Have you heard about the explosion a few years back? What? The explosion. Broken glass all around. Me in the middle. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Boom, and everything was broken. Luckily, I was able to save myself by diving out of the way like a cat. Well, that's really exciting. <laughs> yeah, it was. Kind of. There are two cashiers staring at a TV set. Can you tell me something about... Be quiet out there. We'll come back later. But I can't go in without a ticket. That's not our problem. We're watching the match. The game is just in an exciting phase. Leave us alone. I don't have any money left. I'll have to sneak in. Wow, that guy's muscular. Luckily, Nico isn't around, so I won't have to worry. Um, you won't just let me in there, will you? I can't. There's restoration work going on in there. The exhibits will be available in about two months. I can't wait for two months. Can't you make a little exception? I need some information I can probably get in this room. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you go in there. I hear that Museum Kroon is completely closed for restoration. That's true. The city is investing a lot of money in the restoration of the local museums. You're lucky the museum hasn't been closed as well. Have you seen a good-looking black-haired woman? Evans, no. I'm happily married. Well, most of the time. She's my girlfriend. I'm looking for her. Sorry, I haven't seen her. Have you ever heard of the Templars? You mean the Knights Templar? Yes, there are some artifacts just behind this door. Do you know what it is? No, monsieur. I'm not really interested in those things. My fields are football and... Well, my wife. Nice weather. Perfect for playing football. Outside. I can't take it any longer, sir. Could you stop talking about football, please? Aren't you interested in the match? Your colleagues in the ticket booth are watching the match between France and Germany. Don't you want to see that match? You're right, of course. I'd love to see the match, but I'm not allowed to leave my post here. That's why I'd be much obliged. If you could stop talking about it, it makes me sad. Hmm. Your colleagues are watching the game in the ticket booth, and you're here. Don't you think it's a little unfair that you have to work? 
Well, what can I say? I tried to take the day off, but my colleagues were faster than me. I've tried it the nice and friendly way. Now it's time for a dastardly piece of cunning. Oh my god, a penalty for the French team! What a brutal foul on Zidane! Ah, I must see that game. Could you take over my post for a minute while I go and watch the penalty? Sure, pleasure. Thank you so much, sir. Don't let anyone in. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> to my disappointment, I realize that it's not the latest issue of FHM. It's some kind of science magazine. Main subject, bone findings in Israel. Sounds interesting. It's not an FHM, but you must always educate yourself with new things. Behind a thick glass pane, I can see an old piece of parchment. But what does it say? This says that the parchment is one of the last documents written by Jacques de Molay. Shortly before he was burnt at the stake, he is said to have told one of his servant boys, Geoffrey de Charnay, the secret of a lost seal that was said to be more powerful than a thousand gods. Wow, a thousand gods, huh? Not just one, but a thousand. It says, Mole instructed Charnay to look for the seal, but before he could find it, he met the same fate as his master. Charnay was burnt alive by the French Inquisition. Although managed to hide the parchment from his enemies, the seal has remained lost to this day. The only trace that the parchment gives leads to is Portugal Tomar, a provincial small town northeast of Lisbon, the Templar's last European stronghold in the 14th century. When Tomar fell and the order was destroyed, the seal disappeared in the confusion of the war but it is assumed that the seal is still hidden somewhere in the area. The sandy and rocky hills of Tomar are an attractive destination for archaeologists, tourists, and adventurous treasure seekers. That must be it. Tomar! Pardon? Uh, nothing. It's alright. Stobart, you are fantastic. First, you got rid of the watchman, and now you even know your next destination. Portugal. 